The life and the legacy of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune is one of integrity, it's motivational, and it's full of scholarship. Not talking about enough, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune was actually a bridge during, the seg during segregation and during the Civil Rights Movement. As we continue to talk about Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, we're going to discover her legacy, her upbringing, and many accomplishments that she has as well as sharing my personal perspective on the accomplishments of Dr. Mary McLeod. So who is Mary McLeod? Well, she was born 10 years after the Emancipation Proclamation and the slaves knew that they were free. She was born to former slaves and still had to complete some of the tasks that they did in slavery, such as picking cotton or doing laundry service with her mother. She was then introduced to education. She had the rare privilege of being able to no attend school at Trinity Presbyterian in South Carolina. Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune was known in her community for teaching others basic skills such as literacy and basic arithmetic to help further advance their accomplishments and their careers. So as we talk about Mary McLeod Bethune, what are some accomplishments that she was able to do? As we think about her, she was most known for starting a school with only a dollar and 50 cents in her pocket. She would create her own materials out of wood and created her own pencils. Her love for learning is what educated black women. Her school grew so much that her students did not want to stop learning from her. And as they aged up, she continued to teach them life skills such as cooking or laundry. She did these things so that they would be able to advance their careers at a time when learning was seen as criminal, or as a criminal act. From there, in her relationships, in 1904, her school grew so much that she actually founded a university that is now known as Bethune-Cookman University in Florida. This school is still around today, serving many African Americans in all types of skills and in all types of backgrounds. From there, she also founded and created the National Council of Negro Women. She was an integral part of the, of the NAACP, and she even went on to become a bridge for black women, creating the opportunity for um, um, American society to see black women in a different light. Mary McLeod Bethune was also the first African-American woman to be appointed by the president in a position where she controlled and helped to, to navigate the conversations around racial relations during the civil rights movement. The most profound thing that I discovered when doing research about Mary McLeod Bethune is the foundation of her relationships with her students. Due to the impact of her relationships is what gave her an opportunity to begin to bridge the gap and to further develop the concept of learning for African Americans in America. The history and the legacy of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune is one that is not talked about enough. One thing that we have noticed is that the publications and the philosophy of Mary McLeod Bethune has not been documented as accurately as her white counterpart. And in the last recent years, most have begun to un uncover all of this rich history of her legacy. One thing that Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune pressed in one of her speeches later on in life was the importance that America has on the responsibility to educate its youth. She urged America to take responsibility and to bring back excitement to our youth that they would be encouraged they would be excited and want to learn. For we are responsible for the growth of our students. We are responsible for the future and the development of this country. If you're looking for more information about Dr. Luther, check out these resources. I guarantee you, you will be enlightened by the practices, by the personal experiences and accounts that she's had to deal with with interracial backgrounds and discrimination. Formerly known as the female of Booker T. Washington, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune is someone that we look to and we say thank you. Uh...